In the name of Allah. Question 30. Calculate the reactive power of the capacitor in kilovars needed to correct the power factor from 0 0.8 lagging to 0 0.9 lagging. When we say improving the power factor, it refers to improving the power factor of the source or the transformer, not the motor, because the power factor of the motor is 0 0.8, which is a fixed value based on the motor's design. As we can see, the active power of the motor is 400 kilowatts. So the active power of the source or transformer will also be 400 kilowatts. Additionally, the power factor of the transformer will be the same as that of the motor before the capacitor is installed, meaning it will be 0 0.8 lagging. By using the power triangle, as I mentioned before, the power factor is equal to cosine phi, which is also equal to the active power, P, divided by the total or apparent power, S. This means that the total or apparent power, S, is equal to the active power, P, divided by the power factor, or cosine phi. So the total power of the source before installing the capacitor, that is, before improving the power factor, S source old, is equal to the active power of the source, P source, divided by the old power factor, which equals 400 kilowatts, divided by 0 0.8. Thus, the total power of the source before installing the capacitor, that is, before improving the power factor, S source old, equals 500 kilovolt amperes. We all know that the square of the total power, S, is equal to the square of the active power, P, plus the square of the reactive power, Q. Therefore, the reactive power, Q, is equal to the square root of the square of the total power, S, minus the square of the active power, P. So, we can calculate the reactive power of the source before installing the capacitor, that is, before improving the power factor, by using the following equation. The reactive power of the source, Q source old, is equal to the square root of the square of the total or apparent power of the source before improving the power factor, S source old, minus the square of the active power of the source, P source. So, the reactive power of the source before installing the capacitor, that is, before improving the power factor, Q source old, is equal to the square root of the square of 500 kilovolt amperes minus the square of 400 kilowatts, which equals 300 kilovars. Then, we must repeat the previous calculations, but using the new power factor, which equals 0 0.9. So, we can calculate the total power of the source after installing the capacitor, that is, after improving the power factor, by using the following equation. The total power of the source, S source new, is equal to the active power of the source, P source, divided by the new power factor, which equals 400 kilowatts divided by 0 0.9. Therefore, the total power of the source after installing the capacitor, that is, after improving the power factor, S source new, is equal to 444.44 kilovolt amperes. Also, we can calculate the reactive power of the source after installing the capacitor, that is, after improving the power factor, by using the following equation. The reactive power of the source, Q source nu, is equal to the square root of the square of the total or apparent power of the source after improving the power factor, S source nu, minus the square of the active power of the source, P source. So, the reactive power of the source after installing the capacitor, that is, after improving the power factor, Q source nu, is equal to the square root of the square of 444.44 kilovolt amperes minus the square of 400 kilowatts, which equals 193.7 kilovars. So, the reactive power of the capacitor, Q capacitor, required to correct and improve the power factor of the source from 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 is equal to the reactive power of the source before installing the capacitor, that is, before improving the power factor, Q source old, minus the reactive power of the source after installing the capacitor, that is, after improving the power factor, Q source new. Therefore, the reactive power of the capacitor, Q capacitor, is equal to 300 kilovars minus 193.7 kilovars, which equals 106.3 kilovars. 
Thank you for your attention. See you in the next question.